Hey everyone, I'm your host Vince with the Paranormal UK Radio Network. And on this episode of Astral Encounters, we're going to explore some of my out-of-body experiences involving aliens. Now, when I first started astral projecting, I had no idea that it was possible to contact or be contacted by aliens in the astral dimension. Since a young kid, I always believed in aliens and I would watch TV shows and movies all the time about UFOs and extraterrestrials and alien abductions. And my understanding back then was that these were intelligent entities from other planets and galaxies within our physical universe. And they were coming to Earth in spacecrafts, which people typically refer to as UFOs, for perhaps scientific or even spiritual motives. And of course, there are many reports and stories and theories regarding the purposes of these visitations and abductions, ranging from benevolent to malevolent. But regardless of the details, I was convinced they were real. But again, the idea of running into these entities during my out-of-body experiences never even crossed my mind. So, when I projected from my body one day and found them surrounding me, let's just say I was more than just a little surprised. In fact, I was straight up horrified. Because the truth was that the idea of these entities having the technology and the capability of taking people in the middle of the night and doing experiments on them undetected with no consequences was really frightening. I mean, with all the people that go missing around the world on a daily basis, who knows how many of these disappearances are actually alien abductions in which the people are never returned. I'm not saying that's the case, although I've heard abduction reports that support the idea, and I definitely think it's a possibility. And I had a lot of dreams involving aliens as a kid, which I think is a bit unusual, because as far as I know, most kids don't dream about that kind of stuff. I remember one dream vividly from when I was probably six years old, and in the dream, I was an alien, and I was looking in the bathroom mirror, and I had green skin and big black eyes, and I was eating a person, and in the dream, it was totally normal. Like, that was who I was, and I was okay with that. It wasn't scary or weird, and I think that fact in and of itself is a bit scary and weird. I used to have dreams that aliens would come into my room and take me, but I could never remember what happened after that. I would kind of force myself to block it out. Kind of like when you're having a bad dream and something horrible is about to happen and you wake yourself up only I don't remember actually waking up at that point of the dreams. That would just be where the memory ended. And in some of these dreams, I would experience a strong energy in what I now know is my root chakra. And that was always a mystery to me. I never knew why I would experience that energy. Sometimes it would be so strong it was almost painful. But as I got older and started meditating and doing energy work and opening my chakras, 
I realized what that energy was. But why I would experience it as a kid during these alien dreams would remain unknown to me until I started encountering these entities during my astral projections. So before we dive into my experiences, I want to clarify what I mean by the term alien. The aliens that I'll be referring to are non-human entities that have a similar appearance to the typical aliens that are portrayed in most movies, television, and books. They generally have a, a small, skinny body, a large, triangular-shaped head, and big black slanted eyes. However, I don't mean to imply that these entities are from another planet or galaxy. My experiences with them is nearly exclusively in the astral dimension, which informs me that these beings exist and operate there. Whether they have bodies in our physical dimension and project their consciousness into these higher dimensions, similar to humans doing astral projection, or if their base level of reality is the astral dimension and they're able to shift into the physical dimension, that's another story for another episode. For this one, we're going to focus on some of my early experiences with these aliens during my astral projections. One of my first encounters with aliens was during an astral projection in which I was flying over an astral neighborhood and there was something calling me to this one particular house in the distance, like I was drawn to it for some reason. So I entered this house flying through a large sliding glass door and I decided to boost my lucidity by doing a reality check. So I looked at my hands and then I rubbed them all over my face and it instantly increased my level of awareness. And it felt more real than touching my face in physical reality. And this is a technique that I use to ensure that I'm perceiving what actually exists in the astral dimension. Because if you let your awareness slip and you lose a strong mental focus, the experience can begin to shift into a lucid dream in which the subconscious mind begins projecting manifestations into your perception. And so these reality checks and these lucidity boosts, they serve to ensure that you're firmly grounded in the astral dimension and actually experiencing what is there. So I was inside this house and I suddenly became aware of someone or something inside the house with me. So I turned around and I was shocked to see an alien standing by the door that I had flown in through. It had a, a small skinny body and a large insect-like head, almost like a praying mantis head. And I get a very strange feeling when trying to remember this part of the experience. It's almost like I'm not supposed to remember. I mean, there seems to be some kind of memory block as if this entity had intentionally erased this part of the experience from my mind. I knew something happened in the house with this entity, but I don't know what. So one moment I was standing in this house with this alien, and the next thing I knew, time had somehow passed, and this mantis entity was gone. And I began to realize that things were becoming too real. It was like my consciousness 
was in such a heightened state of awareness that this dimension now seemed to be my base level of reality. And my physical life seemed like a dream or an illusion. And I became worried that I was going to be permanently stuck in this dimension. And with that thought, I jumped back out through the sliding glass door and flew back into my body. So I haven't had many encounters with these particular mantis type aliens. The majority of my experiences involve aliens that are very similar to the typical gray aliens. Really, the only difference is that their skin is a light orange color rather than gray. So my first experience with these beings happened several years into my astral projection practice. So one morning I decided to leave my body and I was soon overcome with paralysis, which is a sign that you're entering the mind awake, body asleep state, which happens just before the projection. And suddenly the presence of several beings came into my perception and they were really close to me and suddenly this really disturbing drone sound just engulfed me it was like i was hit with this energy that felt artificial and had a metallic quality to it and it was different from the normal energetic sensations that take place at the onset of an out-of-body experience. It seemed as if this distressing energy was coming directly from these entities, which at that point I was still unable to see, but I could feel their presence and I sensed them. And so this eerie tone coming from this energy rang through my body and my mind and it chilled me to my core. It was really disturbing, like straight out of a horror movie. So at that moment, the room around me came into focus, and the first thing I saw was an alien standing to my right side, looking directly at me. It was short and skinny. It had a, a large triangular head, with large black slanted eyes and it had light orange skin and looking into those big black eyes invoked an intense wave of fear to wash over me and my heart plummeted inside my chest and I panicked and forced myself back to physical reality so after this experience these encounters became more and more frequent. I would shift from my body and these aliens would be standing around me. Sometimes they would be bent over, closely inspecting me. And during a lot of these experiences, what happens is that I'm projected from the physical dimension, but my astral body is still occupying the same space as my physical body. So my consciousness is fully in the astral dimension, but I'm still lying in the same space. So you commonly hear astral projection being that you need to float up or pull yourself out of your physical body. But in reality, it's simply a shift of consciousness. So your consciousness traverses dimensions, leaving the physical dimension and entering the astral dimension. And no movement or separation from the physical body is actually necessary. Of course, if you want to explore the astral dimension, then you'll have to start moving around. But anyway, during another one of my early experiences with these aliens, I shifted into the astral dimension and I was horrified because 
an alien was bent over me with its face less than a foot away from mine and it was staring right at me and it felt like it was looking into me like looking into my soul and its head was twitching and jerking from side to side like some kind of robot with a glitch and this was really disturbing but also an interesting aspect of these entities they seem to possess a type of mechanical quality their movements never seem completely organic or natural they tend to be unnaturally stiff and jerky and this is an interesting correlation with many alien contact and abduction cases in which the person is informed that these beings are actually some kind of biological mechanical hybrid so anyway my early encounters with these aliens usually always started the same i'd leave my body and they would be standing around me waiting for me to enter the astral dimension and in the beginning i would panic and quickly re-enter my body one time i shifted into the astral dimension without quote unquote separating from my physical body so i was still lying there but i was now perceiving into the astral dimension and i was now occupying my astral body and i was looking up at an alien standing over my body and it was actually standing on my bed and it bent over and reached into my mouth and reached its hand and lower arm all the way down my throat i mean i could feel its fingers moving around inside of my chest and of course it was reaching inside of my astral body not my physical body but i was extremely disturbed and snapped back into my body so these types of experiences were happening on and off for a while and then things got turned up to another level and they started actually pulling me out of my body so this one morning i was lying in bed meditating like i usually did before projecting from my body and i felt something softly grab my ankles and i felt like i was gently being pushed and pulled back and forth back and forth more and more and i was pulled right out of my body and suddenly i feel a strong feeling of movement like i'm being pulled at a high speed and i start to see my surroundings and it looks like i'm being dragged through this long metallic corridor and i can't see who is pulling me but i can still feel their hands on my ankles and the pressure at my ankles got stronger and stronger and it soon started to hurt and at that moment i realized that i shouldn't be feeling pain and that was a big red flag you know if whoever was taking me was friendly or benevolent they wouldn't be causing me pain and i immediately got the feeling that whoever was taking me didn't have good intentions and i willed myself back into my body and ended that experience but this would happen again and again just getting pulled out of my body sometimes without even having the intention of astral projecting and there's an interesting correlation here with the out of body experiences and the aliens i remember reading in one of Whitley Strieber's books in which he discusses his alien abductions that he was actually taken out of his body by these aliens and they essentially taught him how to astral project so after reading that and seeing the similarity with my experiences out of my body with these aliens it added another layer of confirmation 
of my own experiences. So in my future experiences in which I was pulled out of my body, I was able to see that these were the same aliens that had been visiting me in the astral dimension. And when I stopped fighting off these experiences and allowed them to progress, that's when things got really interesting. And we'll dive deeper into those experiences in the next episode. So I'm going to wrap it up here. In the next episode, we'll explore how my experiences with aliens evolved over time, some of the different types of aliens I've encountered and communicated with over the years, and what I learned about them and my relationship with them, a relationship that I had been completely unaware of, and one that provided insight into other aspects of my own self which exist in other dimensions of reality. So thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check out my book on Amazon.com, Astral Projection and Lucid Dreaming, Spiritual Revelations and Out-of-Body Experiences in Higher Dimensions. And also check out the other podcasts on the Paranormal UK Radio Network. Talk to you next time.